Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. Me and Spider say hey. Y'all see you're on the bed. I have no clue what day of Vlogtober we are in today, but nonetheless, we are hanging in there. I decided that I'm trying to do a video every other day for Vlogtober. I honestly, listen, I cannot commit to every day. That's a lot and my life is not that interesting for me to do a video every day especially since i don't really leave the house these days so I'm like eh let me do it every other day so today i got a couple things to do what are you doing oh she's on top of stitch she's on top of stitch so today i want to go through my closet specifically just my jeans but if we look at more stuff than my jeans and try to get rid of more than the more the merrier you guys know we recently decluttered my underwear drawer so that was great now i'm trying to declutter my closet and i know pants you know pants are iffy i have too many pants i feel and a lot of these pants it's like eh, I'm, i don't know why am i even hanging on to them i figured i'd declutter them with you and try them on and then later on we are gonna go get some coffee because oh my god guys what's wrong Oh, she went all the way over there. She's getting spooky on me. She. What's wrong, Bebe? What's wrong? I think she wants me to come over there. But the lighting's better over there, Spider. Later on, we're gonna get coffee from Starbucks. It's this new drink that I tried out before, but I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. I think it should be good. And then I need to exchange her little. I don't wanna say socks, her little boots. Y'all remember what I showed you guys from Five Below? I need to exchange that. What's wrong? She wants to say hey, guys. Say hey. She's like, who are we talking to? Are you crazy? Mommy's not crazy, spider. She's, she's talking to you guys. What do you have to tell the people, spider? What's wrong? Okay, fine. I'll take you down. Come on. Come here. Come here, my little baby. Come here, my little baby. <laughs> She's like, why don't you bring me down sooner? But yeah, that is the plan for today. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and let's get into okay. it. I know you guys haven't seen my closet in a minute, but you know, so you guys see, I did get more of the shoe boxes. So those are empty. I want to go, not through all of them, because there's some that I know for sure that I'm going to keep, but the ones that I'm iffy about, let's try those on. And there's just so many that sometimes I forget. These two I'm keeping. Let me not even bother showing you guys the ones that I'm keeping because Oh my god. <gasps> guys, this isn't even mine. <laughs> How long have I had this in my closet? Let me go put this up where it goes. Because He's been asking me about these for a while, and I sw I had no clue. Listen, I thought it was all my clothes in there. <laughs> well, technically, we just got rid of two pairs. Are we gonna find more jeans that aren't mine? <laughs> and how? I was like, I didn't know I got some gray sweats, and then it all made sense. That was funny. I need to wear this for the winter. Okay, let me try this on because this I'm iffy about. You know those things that look good on the model online and then you buy it and let's try this on y'all have to be completely honest with me in the comments okay don't be scared to hurt my feelings you're not gonna hurt my feelings it will hurt my feelings that you guys let me go out like this just be honest guys do y'all think this is cute or not i think i got this from sheen a while back but i've never worn it worn it i'm not gonna lie it feels super uncomfortable here what's going on you know what i mean <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? Here, let me... You okay? Be careful. I don't know what's going on here. It's like a pouch. Mm, I don't know. It's not too flattering, but... I guess we can make it work with the right shirt. I don't know. I just feel like there's not really much I can do with this, to be honest. But if y'all see the vision, 
please help me with some suggestions of how you would wear this. At this point, I need to go back and look at the model and see what she was doing to see why I decided to purchase this. I will hold out for one comment. Oh my god, guys. These pants bring back so many memories. These are my restaurant work jeans. Or whatever you want to call them. Jeggings. I don't know. I think we can retire this. Ah, wow. That's crazy. The memories. I don't miss. Ha! Huh. Yeah, we can get rid of this. And now this jean, I have not worn in a while, so let's try this on. I remember I got these from Forever 21 not too long ago. Maybe like last year. Yes, I don't know if you guys can tell, they are a little loose on some areas, but I don't know about you guys, but me, with my UC, my body goes through a lot of changes very quickly. Like, I swear, one day I'll lose 10 pounds, then the next I'll gain 20 pounds. That's just how it is, so... I think I'm gonna keep these just because most likely I will gain the weight back and these will fit just fine. Guys, I completely forgot I had a pair of Nike sweats. What the heck? This is why it's good to go through your closet, okay? I might even go out with this today. Loki. And it looks like I guess I didn't have too many jeans to get rid of because it's literally just that one pair. And I put another pair, but that was from another day, so. These, I know these fit fine, these are fire, and then I have my white joggers there, those are fine. Yeah, and that's it, that's, it felt like a lot, guys. At least I decluttered a little, a little bit. But then we did good, guys, because this is everything that I'm getting rid of, and this is also from another video, so I was just waiting to declutter my closet with you guys. So that's good. We can go take this to donate. I'm gonna put this by the front door so I don't forget. Here I have our little booties to return from Five Below. I will not lie to you guys. These nails that I put on on the last video sucked. You barely do anything and they come off. And I'm not blaming the glue. I'm blaming the nails. I'm going to reapply them before we leave because that's not cute. I'm also going to put some earrings on. Guys, I haven't worn earrings in I don't know how long. And obviously to keep my holes open, I need to wear earrings more often. So. Let me do that. Whenever I go out and don't wear earrings, I feel weird. It's like something's missing. I'm like, mm, I know something's missing, but I don't know what. <laughs> it's my earrings. I used to sleep with earrings on when I was younger, but my earlobes throughout the years. After I was 18, man, everything was downhill from there. <laughs> so I know I told you guys that it's been cold here in Texas, but Texas weather bipolar. If you're from Houston, then you know, okay? Texas weather is bipolar so now it's hot it's 84 so mm -mm. Oh. and i probably shouldn't be wearing sweats but honestly i might get chilly i don't know i think i just wear a black tank top and of course we have to put lotion on guys if you want to to be soft put some lotion on and then i'm also going to put my little hair product so my hair stays a little more not in place because it's not going to stay in place but it doesn't look too damaged <laughs> that's a understatement my hair is super damaged i don't know how many times i have to cut my hair for it to finally go back to how it was and i promise i went and switched up to using expensive products and my hair still looks damaged all thanks to my red hair but do i regret it no but if i had known that it was gonna damage my hair this bad then i probably wouldn't have bleached it so many times Anytime I can make it look like it's alive, I'll take it. Like, it may look good on camera, but it's dead. It's dead. Random thought. I was thinking of getting bangs, but I don't know if I should do it. Maybe we can hide this forehead. Last but not least, I'm going to spray some of this. I really... I don't know when I got this, but it was too long ago, and I'm trying to use this up so I can get rid of it. You want to go potty? Let's go potty. All right, I took her out, but I'm going to have to leave her home alone for a while. So I want to play with her a little bit, get her tired, so that way she just sleeps. Ready? Bring it. Bring it. She just switched balls. This ball is hanging on by a thread. Y'all see this? <laughs> Alright, y'all, I'm on my way to Five Below now. I was trying to decide, like, where do I go to first to save gas and not make several trips to different areas, so, yeah going to five below first and then maybe get my coffee or then do the candles and then get my coffee and then hopefully i find a donation place where i can donate all this stuff and do that guys i feel so bad leaving spider home alone like i swear every time i leave i feel so guilty but 
I put my nails on it. All right, enough of that, but hey, don't lie. Don't lie. That song with J. Cole on Drake's album, J. Cole got it. No debate about it. J. Cole got it. Okay? Don't at me. <laughs> Anyways, we are here at Five Below. Let's go. All right, y'all know I can't talk, but I'm going to give y'all a good voiceover. Promise. Five Below had the goodies this day, guys. I'm telling y'all. If you guys are looking for anything Halloween related, fall related, decor, candy, anything, check it out because you guys know most of the stuff is $5. I feel like at most $10. Anything else that's really, really fancy will be $20. This day they were stocked up on all the stuff, okay? Which I was so happy to be here. I'm telling you guys, they got all the good stuff during the week, for sure. If you're looking for anything for Five Below, come during the week. I would say like Thursdays, they have the deals. Look at how cute that little pumpkin mat was for the entrance, and it's shaped like a pumpkin. How cute. I was tempted, but I have too many mats already, as it is. If you just got your first apartment this year, or you're trying to shop on a budget, I think Five Below is a great place for that. I like that little entrance decor. There's another one that I also liked, which I will show you guys later. But honestly, you can decorate your yard, you can decorate the outside of your home. And this stuff actually looks nice. It doesn't look cheap, it looks nice. It's something that you would find maybe at Home Goods, you know? And if you're obsessed with Hello Kitty, they have enough blankets to go around and then some, if you guys saw. Now, these masks, they sold me with that little wolf or whatever that is. That was actually pretty spooky. I was spooked, okay? It's hard for me to get spooked. I was pretty spooked. Now, you know I had to make it to the dog area. They had little spooky toys, spooky treats, and spooky slash co cozy clothes. You guys will see. This was this little air was very cute. I was tempted to get her another toy, but uh, she has so many toys already. And I'm also only looking for yellow or blue toys since that's the only thing that dogs can see. Or green. I think maybe purple too. It just depends. I saw those little spooky hats. They look like a nice little deal, but looks like somebody stole one of them. The little candy cane one, but that would have been a cute idea. I just don't want to get stuff for her and then she only wears it one time and it's just kind of a waste. So I had to pass on that. But that's a cute idea for your cat or dog. I actually find that all of the toys for dogs are mainly other colors but the colors that they can see. And when it's Halloween or October, that's when they have all the colors that they can see. So I'm like, I need to just stock up during October month because... I don't think they caught the memo that they can only see the yellow and the blue. So, I don't know. But I'm telling you guys, I think that is true because her favorite toy is a yellow toy. But look at how cute these little doggy outfits were. Oh my god, I wanted to get all of them. And these little matching pet and owner hats, I was tempted. But I don't really wear hats like that. But if I did, or if it was a difference, like if we lived in like Ohio or something, I might go get it. But it's texas here i don't feel like it's gonna get too cold this year but hey who knows i know a couple years we had that storm and it was snowing and we were not ready we're never ready anything crazy goes down we're never ready this little mushroom pillow is it yeah i was tempted to get it but i didn't i had to fight my urges Finally made my way to the other pet area. That's that's just kind of like the general pet area. That's not the spooky area. Um, and I found her boots and I grabbed a medium now this time. Which you guys will see or towards the end of the video. Spider trying it out and I will make my final verdict on them. Do you want to take a guess on what happened? Do you think A, it fit or B, they did not fit? <laughs> Let me know down below. Also, doggy beds can be very expensive, and you know what Five Below has? Beds and little mats for the crate. We love that. If I would have known that, I would have never bought my little mat from, what's it called, uh, Amazon. But that was neat for $5. Hey, they pee and poo on that stuff a lot, so shoot, might as well get something cheap, honestly. Now, this area was all stuck up with Nightmare Before Christmas, and it was just a lot as you guys can see a lot but it was very cute i really like that sally keychain i was tempted to get it i like that she has some sunglasses you know i was really digging the vibes really cute i like this area overall but y'all see how stocked up it is i'm telling y'all come on the week 
then last but not least i wanted to show you guys some of the new items that they've put out just for yearly decor that was very cute to me so five below was a success i will show you guys everything from whatever i got and whatever i will end up getting at the other stores as well so stay tuned till the end but i find that at five below you find the best stuff during the week i i'm serious y'all y'all well i mean I get it, I get it, but I feel like nowadays everyone's out every single day, so you never really know when you're gonna find the good stuff. But I swear it's like midweek that you find the best stuff at Five Below. I have to stop myself because they have so many good options for dogs. Now I'm gonna go to Bath and Body Works because they're having 60% off their fall stuff. As I made my way inside, I saw this Hispanic Heritage Month thing, and of course, I'm not trying to be a hater or anything, but you know, they just do this for the sales. You know, that's what people were like, oh my god, that's so sweet. They thought of us. No, they probably don't even care about Hispanics, blacks, nobody. They just want to make a sale. So I'm like, eh, I don't even know who that lady is up there. <laughs> but making my way to the fall sale, everything is 60% off, as I mentioned. Uh, I didn't really find anything. They had a lot of soaps on display. And it's a lot of soaps. And I'm like, I wonder why. It's probably all the best smelling ones that don't really sell. And even with the candles, because they did have the 60% off sale on the fall candles too. But funny enough, it wasn't the nice smelling fall candles. Like white pumpkin was not included. Um, Lease was not included. Bro, come on now. I know what y'all are doing. Y'all trying to get rid of the wants to smell bad and they still want to leave the other stuff the same price on another note they finally put out the christmas stuff again guys i know i asked this before in another video but do you guys think it's too soon for christmas listen as soon as it turns november i'm like a lot of y'all we are gonna start decorating i do not care listen we hispanics do not celebrate thanksgiving for bath and body works there was a lot more things online than there is in stores so i definitely recommend that you guys check it out online the only downside about that is you will have to pay for shipping the deals are definitely online guys don't miss it did you guys see that now they have the christmas stuff out too soon or are we ready for that i don't know i'm excited only for the candles that's it i don't think well who knows maybe i'm speaking too early but i don't think i'll get any pieces i just i'm just gonna get candles i love my pine candles guys oh i can't wait you know december is my month okay I'm telling y'all they're coming for that christmas stuff early early what the heck they're ready for Christmas. The one that I really liked was these red ones. These are really cute. Oh, I hadn't seen this pumpkin. This pumpkin's cute. I know people would love the aesthetic of the pumpkin. Y'all know I'm always stopped by the stars above because <laughs> I want to see if they have anything new. They have these, but these are, mm, the material doesn't feel nice. Oh, they got extra small. Oh my God, it's literally the like how do i describe it like little dress one it's not the two-piece set another day another day that i didn't get the cheetah print when i should have got it the first time i saw it let me tell y'all the drink that i got and y'all should try it is the ice white mocha with sweet cream foam and caramel drizzle now this time they didn't have the caramel drizzle so they put whipped cream and it's still good try it out let me know if you like it if you hate it, let me know so I can give you your money back. <laughs> Let's see if they have anything new for the Christmas section or if they're done with Halloween or what is going on. Let's just go look at that area and see. I have a feeling that they've already started putting out the Christmas stuff. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet? Looks like they haven't started putting out the Christmas stuff. Spoke too soon. But they should be putting the stuff on sale pretty soon. So I don't know how long you should wait, but... These prices are already too high. Yeah, nothing special.
All right, this one's way too long. Oh, they got a colorful little area. It's kind of cute. I'm so tiny, I didn't notice him. Oh, what is this? Pop and lock. Okay, what does he do? Probably nothing. Yep, just light up. More colors. It says try me. Happy Halloween, my little ghoul. Oh, he did not just call me little. Uh-uh. I'm gonna beat you up. What is this? Oh my god. They're getting so creative. With a crooked smile. Really cute. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it's very, very vibrant. I like this. I was trying to see if they had anything for pets, but I'm pretty sure that's in the pet area. Although, she already has her costume, but I just wanted to look. Look! Okay, let's see. R.I.P. Yeah, that's no. Wow, they did not get creative this year. <laughs> that one's kind of funny. This one's just cozy. Oh my god, that one's so cute. Oh no, focus. Guys, that's so cute. I'm debating, should I get this for her or no? Am I doing too much? I know how much I love planting. These are $8 and they have holes on them, guys. That's, that's a pretty good deal. They're not glass, but hey, who cares? I like this one, this one's really pretty. All right, you guys, finally home. I'm not sure if I showed you guys the full outfit, but it literally, it's nothing special, but still wanted to show you guys. Let's go with Target first because I only got one thing and I'm trying to give it to her right now. I finally gave in and I got some peanut butter. You just have to get the peanut butter that only has peanuts. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do a little bit because I've learned my lesson. If you're giving your dog a new food, you're supposed to do a little bit, you know, not a lot. And I've made that mistake before, so I'm gonna give her a little bit and see if she she likes it and then hopefully i can see later on if she reacts well to it if she throws up then i know it's not for her but i hope it is but then at the same time i have been prolonging this because i hate peanut butter and i hate the smell of peanut butter so i'm not gonna love that peanut butter breath but i don't want to be that kind of person that's like oh if i don't like it you don't like it either like no if you like it it's okay i was trying to get some pumpkin too but i didn't find any pumpkin canned food so and this is the brand <sighs> guys i hate the smell of peanut butter i hate it she loves it she loves food period so but in 30 minutes i shall see if it's good for her stomach or not. From Five Below, I did go ahead and exchange the boots for a bigger size. And after Spider eats, we maybe can test out and see if it fits her. And then I got her this for the winter, guys. Don't think that I'm a evil mom or a bad person putting this on her right now. It's still too hot, but I got her this. If I can get this off the hanger. Look how cute, look. Oh look, and it even has a hole right here, so if you take her out with this with your leash, then get that of everything. I like that. But my favorite thing is the little ears. They had this one, they had a gray one, and I think they had a blue one. This is a size oh what size is this? I think this is a small, I'm pretty sure. Guys, everything that I got here was for her. Like when we really calculated. That's crazy. That's crazy. I got her this little mat. So when I give her baths, at first she's been difficult, but now she's actually kind of like getting into it, like, okay, I've accepted it, I, I need to not move. She's accepted it, but to help that, I have got her this, and the reason why I got the peanut butter, the real reason why I got the peanut butter was for me to put the peanut butter all over this, and that way she could just lick this. Obviously, I probably wouldn't fill all this up, but if you have a bigger dog, then yeah. And that way she can focus on licking this while I wash her out, so yeah. Look me! And it's yellow. I love that it's yellow because as you guys know, dogs can see yellow. So I have taken that into account, the colors that she can see, and I like to get anything I want it to be for her to be able to see. And that's actually why I think Miss B is her favorite toy. Her, it's yellow. And that's why I think it's her favorite toy. But speculation. At Bath & Body Works, like I was telling you guys, there really wasn't much. The deals were eh. And I can't really use the soaps because I have eczema, so I only got one thing. I got this that I've been eyeing for for a while, and it was on sale for $7. Tell me why all the wall, wallflower plugs are really expensive. This was originally $19.95. Like, I mean, it's cute, but it's not $20 cute. 
y'all tripping so i'm feeling like the original price was seven dollars but anyways so yeah this is all i got why do these still look so small too these still look small i don't think this will fit her either you see how big oh look i don't think it fits spider let me see spider <laughs> she took it off <laughs> this is a no this is a no i should have known from the first time she hey give it back no <laughs> well i guess i'm making another exchange i think i should just not exchange i think i'm making a return because i should have known this is my fault i'm sorry spider i'm sorry i have wasted your time i wanted to make it work i really did because you know when she goes out there on the grass man she loves to get in the dirt so but it's just not gonna work but yeah you guys that is it for today's video i hope you guys are enjoying this october and with that being said i will see you guys in my next video bye